Jared Poland Frono's photo.com and this is your first offering just a bit outside photo news fix this fix is brought to you by Squarespace which I've been using for jaredpoland.com for 15 freaking years now 15 Ah, there's a reason I've been using Squarespace for my own portfolio for that long because it's just so damn simple to use. It's simply drag, drop, and go, and no coding is needed. And even if you want to sell some things online, you can do it in a Squarespace store. In fact, it took me less than five minutes to put up this gallery of my poison photos, and it doesn't get more simple than that. To get your 14-day free trial, head on over to squarespace.com slash photo. If you decide that it's for you, use the code photo at check out to get 10% off your first order. First up, a photographer who goes by the name of Frocknow's Photo. Wait, wait a sec, that, that's Frono's photo, that's me. Well, I've released a 360 degree interactive video that takes you to a place where if you tried to go there yourself, you'd be arrested. And that's onto a baseball field to join in a victory celebration. Even if you're not a fan of baseball, I think you're going to enjoy being able to control where the camera is looking to see what and how I shot, as well as watch what the other photographers are doing in this insanely fast paced situation. Now for those wondering where the Insta360 one inch camera was mounted. Bend over and I'll show you. It was in my hot shoe. I can't leave him now. Remember, when you're on the desktop and on the phone, you can control the direction that you're looking. All you need to do is just click and drag and slide your finger around. Don't forget to look up, down, left, right, left, right, BA, BA, select, start, then, then you have that. I've left a link down below in the description for you to check out after fix. And this is a super unique look at something that most people will never get to do themselves. Next up, Nikon has released the Z 600 millimeter F63 VRS PF lens. This means that Nikon's got options for days when it comes to 600 millimeters. You've got the 180 to 600, the 606.3, as well as a 600 F4 TC. They range in price from $1,700 to $15,500 with the new 6.3 coming in at $4,800. Now I know that sounds like a lot, but it's a lot less than $15,500 and they've given you all the options. Now I got my hands on this lens and decided to go to the zoo to check it out. And if you haven't checked out that video just yet, it will be linked down below in the description as well, but wait till after fix to watch that. The first thing that I did with the 600 was take the lens collar off because it's hand holdable at only three pounds or 1,390 grams. It's also only 11 inches long. I used it on the Nikon Z9 with the brand new firmware 4.10 and didn't really see any major focusing issues. Then again, the animals are mostly sitting right in front of me, so I didn't get to test it out that much, but the zebras were seeming to have a lot of fun and they were running around. And you could see for yourself how the focus reacted. But Jared, why did you have to go shoot at a zoo? They're so bad for animals. Well, because it made it much easier to take pictures, kind of like this one, this one, this one, and this one. Oh, oh Jesus, How, how'd that one get in there? Now here's some quick specs. It sports a phase Fresnel element, has STM focus motors, 5.5 stops of VR, and six when paired with a camera that has IBIS built in, has a 95 millimeter filter thread, no drop-in filter in the back, 13 foot minimum distance for focus, nine aperture blades, and it's TC compatible, though I personally wouldn't recommend using them myself. You're probably just better off cropping in the end. So how do you decide which 600 is right for you? Money. How much of it do you have? Really, it actually comes down to versatility. Do you prefer having a zoom range of 180 to 600? Or would you prefer a prime 600 that's light or one that's heavy with a built-in TC? Now that's for you to decide and for your wallet to help you figure out as well. But there is one thing for sure, Nikon's giving you plenty of options to choose from. Podcast plug time. If you like listening to podcasts and you haven't given Frono's Photo Raw Talk a shot just yet, it comes out every Friday wherever you get your podcasts or head on over to fronosphoto.com slash podcast. And if you don't like it, I'll give you your money back. And finally, with finally being the key word right there, Canon has announced an ultra wide angle RF lens. <laughs> And honestly, it couldn't have come at a better time. So I could take this photo right here at 10 millimeters and not. Eleven! Yeah, you heard that right, 10 millimeters. Introducing the Canon RF 10 to 20 millimeter F4IS. It's about time! 
This lens is not a fisheye, it's rectilinear, it's freaking wide. To put it into perspective, it captures approximately 1.4 times wider field when compared to a 12 millimeter lens and two times wider field than a 14 millimeter lens. Canon's EF 11 to 24 was a modern marvel for its time that helped me get some great images but it was $3,000 and weighed in at 2.6 pounds or 1180 grams and was definitely a chunker to take with you. Though it was well worth it for what you got at 11 millimeters. Now the 10 to 20 shed size, weight, as well as price. It weighs in at only 1.25 pounds or 570 grams and is priced at $2,300. Hold on, let me, let me make a call. I got, I'm quickly calling with this rotary phone. Look, it's a, it's a it's a rotary phone. Hello, Brandon, Alan's camera. Yeah, can, can I place an order for the 10 to 20 right now? Yeah, got it, thank you. Now, a few things surprised me with the announcement of this lens, and one is that it's an F4, and two, that it has IS. Now, I personally prefer 2.8s or better these days, but if the trade-off to go to 10 and keep the weight down was to be at F4, then so be it. No one's gonna look at my images and be like, you used an F4. The, they suck, and you suck. Really? Well, they might yell that I suck because they like to yell that I suck. Nonetheless, this lens helped bolster the RF lineup, and I cannot wait to own it. Oh, I'll take two. <laughs> Who else out there has been waiting for a lens like this? And there you have it, Jared Polinfronosphoto.com. See ya.